Welcome to Inside the Lines. Alongside Jared Smith, I'm Ariel Epstein. The New York Knicks are finishing up their four-game road trip tonight at the Denver Nuggets. They're 10.5-point dogs, total 208.5. Jared, the Knicks have won two of their last three, however, mm. going up against the number one defense in the NBA in the Nuggets. How did they continue their winning ways? Yeah, a little bit of a step up in competition tonight, but the Knicks, they've been hot, showing me a lot of intestinal fortitude on this road trip, winning two in a row. Big comeback in Sacramento the other night. Uh, I think they've got a chance to cover this game. Here's why. Denver coming off the back-to-back. -back. They're 0-2 ATS in that second game of the back-to-back -back this season. And the Knicks, a profitable team on the road as an underdog, 7-6 and six as the road dog this season. Alfred Payton might provide a little bit of a spark again like he did uh, in the second half against the Kings. I think the Knicks do have a chance to keep this close. The late game tonight is the Sacramento Kings are 3.5-point favorites at the Golden State Warriors. The total, 210.5. However, this Sacramento Kings team is allowing just an average of 105 points per game. How are these teams going to put up points, Jared? Yeah, this is not a market matchup. I don't think anyone's going to be rushing the window to bet on this game. However, if you like offense, again, probably stay away from this one as well. The Kings play at the slowest pace in the league. The Warriors have obviously struggled to score. One of the worst scoring teams in the, in the NBA. I, I am going to take the under in this game. It's a very low total, uh, but I'll dabble on the under here. And I like the Kings minus three and a half. The Warriors two and nine at home this season. All right, we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to have our NBA championship picks. They say less is more, but we believe more is more. That's why we build FanDuel Sportsbook with more, more. More ways to bet. More ways to fund your account. More ways to cash in. And more ways to cash out. With payouts delivered straight to your bank account in as little as 48 hours. You want more? You got it. Join today and get a risk-free bet worth up to $500. FanDuel Sportsbook. More ways to win. Welcome back to Inside the Lines alongside Jared Smith. I'm Ariel Epstein. Our NBA championship picks right here. Mine's a little cliche, so I'm going to <laughs> let Jared make his pick first. All right, yeah. So, uh, you know, obviously the debate right now that we're having every day with all of our sports grid colleagues, who's better right now? Is it the Lakers or is it the Clippers? If you were going to ask me who's better today, I think the Lakers are probably the better team. But this is a futures pick. This is something where I'm buying the market in advance. I'm going to take the Clippers. I think... Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, we're starting to see the mesh. They're 6-2 and two playing together. Those two losses, one of them was without Kawhi and without Patrick Beverly. The other loss in that stretch was to the Bucks. So if you're looking at long-term value, I think we're going to see the Clippers get better over the next few months as we get closer to the playoffs. Well, I'm going with the other L.A. team. I'm taking the Los thing. Angeles Lakers. <laughs> Here's why. I like when teams have offenses and defenses both inside the top ten. They don't need to be the best, but they don't, they're not the worst. Mm. With that being said, the Lakers have a top ten offense and a top ten defense, and out of the teams that are picked to be the best five teams with the best odds, the Lakers are the only one out of those five teams who have top ten offenses and top Balance. ten defenses. Yeah. I'll say this about Kawhi Leonard. He can make history. Because Steve Kerr was the last guy to win back-to-back -back championships mm -hmm. for two different teams. We saw it with the Bulls and then the Spurs. He can do it. Obviously, we know what he did with the Raptors last year. He can do it again with the Clippers this year. It's going to be really fun to see the Clippers and the Lakers. They're going to play a lot down the stretch. And obviously, this is probably going to be decided in May or maybe June. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting to see how that in-state rivalry goes. Those oh, yeah. two in teams city have been rivalry. In, in building rivalry. rivalry. They play in the same building. All right, now it's time for our long shots, Jared. I know you love futures picks, and yes. you love kind of the dollar hollow, which we're not doing today, but this is kind of it. Right? This is, and obviously if you want to look at a long shot that might have a chance to sneak into the finals, it's because the East is still a little bit up in the air. I'm going with the Miami Heat plus 5,000 right now on FanDuel Sportsbook. How about the Heat, the best ATS team in the league. Jimmy Butler's been unbelievable in South Beach running this new motion blur offense. It's been tough to stop. And I like the Boston Celtics at plus 2,700 with the addition of point guard Kemba Walker. This team went from 40 to 1 odds to 18 to 1 odds yeah. preseason. They were the sixth best odds to win the NBA championship. The East is tough. You've got a lot of teams that I think can ascend to that point. I think the Sixers are right there. Obviously, we know what we get with the Bucks as well. Uh, the Eastern Conference, very up in the air right now. Take a long shot. You never know. It might, it might pay off down the road. It has for our dollar hollas. We both have hit on our recent ones lately. So thank you for joining us on Inside the Lines.